So we have the campaign finance bill that's been signed. Prince Richter, who objected the funding package, said it contained too much unfairness to the allocation of the budget, also sought to delay proceedings. USP hijacks the elections. Why am I playing this game right now? Stop the count, right? <laughs> oh no. Stop the count. Oh, another report. Any potential change of the constitution in the direction of the reforms will likely result in strong opposition from the National Front Party. Yeah, we have to watch out with that. The members of assembly in support of such directions seem to be in great numbers. What's the make up a majority of the Grand National Assembly? Now, we didn't click on these uh, things here, so this is an overview of our country. A woman have limited rights. Overburdened welfare system. We have so many bad things happening right now. Political overview, Vice President, me, Julius Graf, Minister of Interior, Economy, all our ministers, these are all the factions. Alright, and the oligarchs are the powerful elite and the reformists are the Government united under the call of the democratic reforms. Right. These are the seats. We have to watch out for the PFJP. At this point. Yeah, there are 11 seats. There are uh, three reformists, there are three centrists, and there are five old guards here over in the in the parliament here. All right. Briefing on the current economic situation. Simon Hall here, who is my minister of economy. Uh, Gus is Minister of Rural Development and Lilius Graf, Minister of in Interior. Okay. Do you really think that such an economically advanced area is more in need of investment than Agenland? Uh, he was clad in. Yeah. Don't be an idiot. Wow, what a language. What about the unemployment crisis the Greater Holzhorn and Gelsland regions are going through? These areas are our economic heartland. Quickly stepped between two ministers without looking at either of them. He cleared his throat. Good morning, Mr. President. What is this debate about? Is this disagreement in internal economic strategy, President Rain? Not sure if I would call it just a disagreement, Lilius. Um, can you explain it, Lilius? Mr. Manger, or Manger, proposes that we should invest in already developed regions. Meanwhile, many cities in Agerland, like Langkork or Arvori, Still don't have basic commodities delivered in time. 
And guess what do you think about it? Sir, I have some very good construction companies willing to take government contracts in Greater Holzorda and Gelsland. Could boost the rural economy. I think it would be wise to pick investments that will go through these regions. What are your thoughts, Simon? Thoughts, Simon? I have to say that I agree with both of them. Agentland is in need of investment. We can improve Greater Holzorda and Gelsland. I want to avoid this topic now since I want. Since we will talk about it in the future, I would rather f first fully brief you on the current economic situation. My staff and I have comprehensively analyzed every aspect of... Oh. Oh, you can put it there. The point of load painting. Uh, projector. Leave now, I mean. Thank you. And please leave now. Tom started looking for his slides. He always carried documentation around with him. Just wait. Simon, what happened to the new police station construction? It's stored. It got stalled due to government property boundary issue. Let me take a look at that one. Estort needs all the security help it can get. Sure, more time for me to spend on LLI. It's a lot of reading this game. It's, it's almost only reading. There have been some developments about Sordish Ren losing further value today. We have been trying to stabilize it with the central bank. The recession of 51 put enormous pressure on the economy, resulting in the collapse of the value. The entire situation was a significant cause of concern for our administration. What would you like to know about the current economic situation? Um. Now let's go over everything, I guess. What is your GDP and debt? 310 billion stored is ran, and we have 427 debt right now. So we have more than 100% debt. That is not good. Uh, unemployment and inflation rate? 16%, and we have 7% of inflation. Wow. That's a lot. Unemployment is increasing crime and drug use. Yep. Yeah. What is the status of the recession? Uh, we lost 6% in the past year. And the GDP dropped... One third in, in how many years? Six years? That's not good, actually. If all the information needed, let's move on to the economic strategy. Simon scattered the paper stack in front of him in an orderly manner and took a final look at his note before clearing his throat. You can see the situation is alarming, but not everything is negative. The extensive privatization program of Alfonso left us a large budget surplus, which can be, which we can use to stabilize the crisis. Um. One of the main promises was to promote a planned economy to stop the recession. To be frank, I still don't think this was a good idea. <laughs> I also don't think so, but Twitch yet told me. We shouldn't go back to Solonomics. It's the reason of the recession. Self-sufficiency will help us in tough times. Economic systems without regulation are bound to fail. Or what are the consequences of the free market? The more of the economy we control, the better we can manage the recession. What are the downsides of the planned economy? What are the consequences of the free market? You're more influenced by the world economy. It's important to think about the subjects because the upswings of the world economy will reflect good on ours too. Yes, and when the global economy crashes, we go down with it. Um, structural problems of Solonomics were going to lead to a recession according to the predictions at the time anyway. Either way, even if we pick one of the doctrines, we retain the option to make economic choices on a case-by-case -case basis. 
That's why I have not recommended. In my point of view, the last thing we need is a chaotic economic plan. Uh, superpowers. We might have won the election, but I'm still against aligning ourselves with the superpowers. Economically speaking, we aren't as tied to the United Contana as we are to Arcasia. So a decision aligning to the east is much more difficult to accomplish. Very cautious. These are schemes being devised about Shortland. We cannot give into their wants now or in the future. Otherwise our country will turn into pawn. I want you to reconsider your promise to align with, the, with United Contana. Ooh. So we made a promise. Um, we can back down on it or we keep our promise to the people. So we could reconsider it, but the people won't like it. Uh, yes, okay. We must first decide on our internal economic plan. Legal document outlining the possibilities with both economic and doctorate listed. We have to thank Sol and his planned economy for the boom. It clearly shows the success of the system. For two, let's finish what Alfonso started with the capitalist free market reforms. His path was going to enrich Sortland. For three, would a planned economy focus, us, focus bring us stronger allies? Or what on long term economic what's on our long term economic schedule? Picking a construction company, trade relations, tax reform and welfare privatization or nationalization. Okay, we must choose wisely and remember that the free market economy in all forms is the future of the world. Lilia saying I wouldn't be so sure. Are we gonna get rid of our planned economy? I mean, ISCO is gone, so it's up to you, Twitch chat. I mean, of course the free market will do away better, because we are now in a recession, so if we join the free market and the recession is over, then we will also profit from it. Then I break my promise. It would make United Cortana Diplomatic look at our country in a more positive light. They are pro proponents of the planned economy. Influence Arcasia on the world economy is extensive. Our economic strategy should be based on internal reasoning. I have to make a decision. I'm going to stick with my promise. I'll stick with the planned economy. Let's move on. Political institutions must remain in state control. We must be fully responsible in delivering services or two. We should look at opportunities like privatization to create financial resources. A market economy doesn't require as much guidance and could help us attract foreign capital, or it is hard to fully agree or disagree with these options. Hmm. I think I want to keep that in state control. What will our general economic plan promote? Promote a planned economy as we promised. We are going to do it. Not sure if we made the right decision. <laughs> I would never pick that one. Now that there is clarity on which direction we are heading, I will work on a good plan. Now 
they're going for lunch. Okay. Privately made, I allowed a new electoral campaign and promote a planned economy in the country. Yeah, but that was my promise, so change it. Let's check the news. It's freezing temperatures. Nationalist violence. And the economist is talking about pioneering electronics. All right. What do we have here? Read the report from Lenk Lenkurk. Yeah, the, the road in Lenkirk need improvement. Right? Invest in the mega infrastructure. The, the Ministry of Economy has put forward two bold plans for mega infrastructure projects that would help with the economic recession in the long term. Investing in projects of this scale will take up some portion of our budget, but we could prove worthwhile if accomplished successfully. I think we're going to go for it. It seems like our infrastructure is not, uh, not doing so well. If you have any other opinion to Twitch chat, you just have to tell me. But I think I'm going to invest. So we lose one government budget. So we go from 3 to 2, so we, we do have it right now, right? So There we go. Some reports here. Agricultural output has increased over there, and what is this? The rail signaling system in the region dates from the middle of the last century and is in also need of improvements. Okay, so uh, it's very busy here. And also need to upgrade that one. Discussion of the potential infrastructure projects. President, we need to focus on boosting the economy as quickly as possible. One of the fastest ways to achieve this through infrastructure projects. Um, I agree. On the one hand, businessmen are complaining about the slow logistical rail network between Holsort and Lockhaven. Yes, we know that. On the other hand, citizens are criticizing the lack of a proper highway connection between Lockhaven and Arvory. The narrow roads by the seaside are not only dangerous, but also difficult to traverse. We need to pick the most profitable option for the economic growth. Citizens and their demands matter, matter the most. Hmm. Well... We are doing a planned economy anyway. Just Twitch yet said so. So two. It is obviously connecting our two most economically powerful cities. Remember though that we can accomplish something in the first economic act. Yeah, we need to get out of the recession. It's 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 very important.
the whole position myself here. Uh, the ministry can only support one project at the same time. Uh, let's talk about the highway project. Seems to improve the abysmal state of the road network in the Akanland region bordering Agnolia. The area is home to several million Agno Sordish and Sordish who feel neglected. There are no proper highway connections to and from Agenland. The mayor of Offery, Eric Neal, has been asking for a bigger budget. Okay. Um, can't leave the request unanswered. That must be cumbersome for the citizens. I agree. This could also hurt the local businesses. Look at the map. This is pointing at Lackhaven. The H3 hybrid route starts here and leads to Lankburg. So this will be the new highway. Uh, right now it's a normal way. I think you can see it with the... Yeah, it's now a national road, I think. And they want to make it a highway. So that will become a red... Uh, road. I think that's a great idea, actually. And from there it goes all the way to Arvory, so it will go even here. So the highway will go from Arvory to Lackhaven. I think that's a great idea. Then we have a nice highway going on. As a result, the road network towards the Agnolian capital, Stahlport, will improve substantially. Fast and leaned forward in a chair. So the central government continuously neglect the Agno Soyuz dominated regions. And there was mayor. Is this administration going to continue that kind of neck negligence? Negligence? We should no longer neglect the key region for a trade of Agnolia. True. Yeah, but most goods flow to Lackhaven and Holsword, which give importance to lodges there. Just to be pointed out that the highway would be less beneficial in the near term. I have to disagree, it will increase the speed of transportation throughout the region. This will be quite pleased if we successfully accomplish this. Besides, if we enter trade talk with Agnolia, they would see the investment as a positive sign. Um, now let's hear the other project. But they want to do a railway project. We'll empower the business and bring investments. Mayor, take these of sort that need more infrastructure. Let's upgrade the old L1 line from Holzor to Leghaven. It will transform to a high speed rail. So this train track will become a high speed track. Uh, capital, it will go to Andrika first. Then connect the Gelsword. Wait, Gelsword? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it will boost the economy on the newly linked cities and even rural areas in between. Uh, Lackhaven is our primary port, so the goods unloaded there will be transported to Holsword much faster. We should link these rural areas in the middle with the major cities. I believe this would benefit the businesses.
Which will be your final choice, Mr. President? Okay, Twitch chat, I need your help. Are we gonna do the highway? The road? Or are we gonna do the, uh, the high-speed rail project? They are both good op good things to do. If we do the highway, we can maybe have more trade with uh, uh, Stalport. On the other hand, it can be good for our economy as well if we have um, a good high-speed train line between our biggest cities. I think I'm going to go with the highway. I mean, there is already a train going and a highway between these cities, so we don't even have a highway to this city. Ministry estimated that the entire construction will finish in two years. Is there anything else? That should be all. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Yeah. And now we are building a highway, apparently. Yes. So we will get a highway from here to here. We can trade more with these guys. Alright. Um, do we have any news? No. Invest in Arcasian company stocks. A personal investment opportunity has been re relayed by Mr. Menger. An experienced stockbroker in Ventry City, Arcasia, selling valuable shares of Armadine Air Industries, an up and coming electronics manufacturing company. You could invest or let the op opportunity pass. You know what? Let's just get some shares. What could possibly go wrong? So with only one personal wealth now, hopefully our stocks are going to do okay. And we have a report here in Morna. Increasing unemployment. Yeah, it's not going good in our country. Nine percent. The reception at the inaugural ball. Residence of the president of Sortland. Oh yeah, we are going to celebrate that we are going to be president now. The ball was a three decade old tradition. Uh, breathlessly anticipated by politicians, bureaucrats and the press. All eyes were about to be on me. I called on Monica to get the children ready. Looking in the mirror, I straightened my tie and took a deep breath. After tonight, there will be no turning back. Suddenly, Deanna, our daughter, hugged me from behind, startling me a little, and Monica had fixed her hair in an elaborate braid woven with ribbons. So, that was my wife, yes. Papa, Mama told me it's time to go. Uh, I'm ready, where's your brother? I think Frank is still upstairs. Oh, where's my first lady? Monica came down the stairs. Yeah. How do you <laughs> She's saying, how do you do, Mr. President, against me? Embrace. Now, where the hell is Frank?
Lucas is a gorgeous heavy merit. Now that's the charm you got you elected. <laughs> Frank is saying this thing itches, so he's not liking his uh, his suit. Look at the color. He seemed ill at ease. Are you good to go, Frank? I'm glad we have you with us for this big night. Uh, she's cutting at pointing at the guards. Yes, Sortland's most important family needs extra protection. Fortunately, yes, they can't leave us here till my term ends. You need to get used to it. Um, so Frank is saying, do I really have to go? <laughs> there are plenty of pretty girls to dance with. Yeah, okay, and now we are going. Sergey, my driver, or Serge, I think I call him Serge. What a gate started moving towards the palace. I gazed out the window, deep in thought. Anton, what are you thinking about? Uh, wondering if I made the right choice. We have to relax tonight. Just remember what happens. Children and I will be always there for you. I'm going to help Papa fix everything. I know you will, honey. Uh, just enjoy the night. After what seemed like just a few minutes, the convoy slowed to a halt. Third shot rolled down the limousine soundproof partition. We are here, sir. Hope you enjoyed the ride. I did, Serge. Thank you. It was a pleasure to hear that. Uh, they opened the door and we are going out. Good luck there. See you on a trip home. And there are journalists. The guards fended most of them off, but one woman managed to dodge them and corner me. I recognize the Swedish Brothers Company logo on our press. Bonyard. Mr. President, Mr. President. You plan on working together with the opposition parties on the expected constitutional reforms? Um, yes. <laughs> if the opposition is willing to support us, that doesn't sound like working together, that sounds like demanding that they work with us. I'm gonna work with everybody. Mr. Richter from the uh, PFJP verified as long as you hold your promises of democratization, they will support you on these issues to the end. What do you think about this statement? I welcome it. This is a challenge for us all. Or we want the other parties to join him in his endeavor. Endeavor. Honestly, I don't expect much from him. If I click that one, that's not gonna help anything. I can't comment since I haven't seen the statement yet. One more question. One of your first acts as president was to sign a campaign finance law allocating public election funds by seats in the assembly as opposed to number of votes. Is this a deliberate attempt to defund the Communist Party and the Blue Dia Workers Party, neither of which have reached the election threshold? Perhaps it was. If left unchecked, those parties would only make trouble for me. Sure. We have beautiful ribbons. And the lobby and joined the throngs of people making their way towards the ballroom. Behind me, I heard a familiar voice. Peter. Uncle Peter! Yeah. Uh, you are too growing faster than I'm getting wiser. Are you sure you've gotten wiser, Peter? <laughs> Maybe not, after all, I'm sticking with you. Yep. 
It's Evelyn that's... Uh... Can I click on Evelyn? Second lady. I think it's time to celebrate this victory. I hope you will show the same enthusiasm on the job. Oh, we could start by getting some drinks. Peter, you read my mind. I think this guy is a party animal. Peter grinned and beckoned a roving waiter. The four of us each took a glass of champagne. Monica, how are you? You've barely said a word. I'm more than relieved to have this roller coaster ride over with, but of course now the real work begins. Managing the help, planning parties, daily trips to the saloon. Uh, don't be so old fashioned. Gonna work for the woman rights. <laughs> I can be so bad here. I can say, as long as you don't burn the roast. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, they want to go to the ballroom. Yeah, let's go. We move to the ballroom. After we made our way towards the ballroom. Inside, we were yet again surrounded by a noisy crowd, but this time it was the politicians who sought to appease the new authority. Shaking hands, and so on, and so on. Some chest tunes. Peter saying that was tiring. And then we have to get used to it. <laughs> we have to get used to it. Certainly, certainly a loud banging noise echoed from outside the ballroom. Then another one. And another. Oh, what's happening? Looking around in confusion, Peter and I turned towards each other, realizing dawning on both of our faces. Fireworks? No, gunshots! As Monica heard the word, she lunged from her seat. Shield the kids and Monica. Oh, what is happening? I knew it. We never should have gone. We just broke out of some guests, flung themselves under their tables, and others ran towards the door, screaming. Three more gunshots rang out loudly. And Carl coming, chief of police. Are you okay? It was in decorated uniforms. They all had their guns drawn. As soon as he made us saw that we were unharmed, he let out a big relief. Thank God. What the hell is going on? One second, Mr. President. He turned quickly to his bed. Check the perimeter now. Paul Janssen, follow my lead. We will bring them to safe to the safe room. He turned to Monica, Evelyn, children, and spoke in a softer voice. Don't worry, the situation is not under control. Please follow me. What a fucking night. <laughs> it's not over yet. Carl turned to us with a serious face as we were about to, to round a corner. Quiet, please. Sorry, I talk when I get nervous. Peter, shut up! Carl flipped a switch on the wall, and a panel opened, revealing a hidden staircase leading to a large reinforced door. Um, are we under attack? Who is attacking us? What's going on? Receive confirmation soon, Mr. President. Everything is under control. Good news, we are not in any danger at the moment. The situation has been dealt with and the perimeter has been secured by the guards and the police. This is what we know so far. We have confirmed that two people were gunned down in front of the palace. The gunman is one of them and we are sure that he was working alone. The attacker fired three shots at an MP. One to the head, two to the body, instantly killing them. Him. They killed the attacker. Um, Bernard Circas is killed. 
That's not good. This is huge, Anton. We will cause a lot of problems. Peter pulled out two cigarettes and handled and handed me one. He then turned to Evelyn. I could hear him trying to reassure that her that everything was going to be alright. Monica was still trying to tend Diana as Frank paced the room, mumbling that he should have stayed home. Uh, convert Monica and the kids. You're safe. Not sure of anything anymore. Took a cigarette, take a deep drag home. Isn't safe at all costs. I crushed the cigarette on the ashtray. And that was it. Wow. So we had a shooting. <sighs> Regarding the remarks of Richter about positive corporation to victim current problems, yes, maybe we will. And the MP is shot. That is not good. Do we have anything else to click on? I think we only can click over there. Yeah. Uh, security increased, of course, after uh, the murder of Bernard Circas. Yeah. Then we have an emergency meeting. With a gloomy mood, of course. When it's sick of a shot at 9.03 pm in front of the palace, he was an elected independent member of assembly and, as you know, a famous communist. The guards at the scene were 50 meters away and immediately took action. One of the young swords. An MP shot near the palace that is absolutely unacceptable. Well, that is. But why Bernard? Always been an infamous figure, his poems had a large impact in the spread of communist ideas and so on, but many considered him a threat. Our investigators are suspecting a political assassination since young swords have been threatening the communists for some time. So these are the um, the young, the youth organization of the National Front Party. Militant, militancy. Left versus right. Files. Minister of Justice side. The Red Youth has condemned the killing but didn't stop there. They promised revenge. But the Red Youth, of course, uh, communist uh, branch. This will in turn spark further aggression from the young sword. Yeah. Yeah, we can't have anyone let alone a shot for voicing different opinions. I fully agree we should protect freedom of speech. True. Last do and for good reason. Silencing voices only result in fear and stagnation inside society. Better before all know, know very well how it was. Uh, 
Yeah, and many war medals display. Agreed, our gendarmerie will also help boost security in the rural areas where possible. Might be more to come. We need to refrain from making the issue a political one from the start. It will only add fuel to the fire. It's early, but will we attend the funeral? <laughs> Why would you say that right now? Let's calm the situation. We'll investigate the involved parties on the way. We will find the sub subversifus, I don't know that word, and punish them soon enough. I will do my best to help coordinate the administrative task. Justice will be served and the rule of law will return to this country stronger than ever. Only if we stay vigilant as a country, we must think about the upcoming budget. I agree, internal stability must be maintained, our security funding might need to be increased. We should not lose sight of our real political goals, like the constitutional reforms. Too soon to jump to conclusions, I think. I agree, we need to be patient until we have the full picture. It seems that the tension between the communists and nationalists will escalate further. It will be very difficult to pass any meaningful change if there is chaos in the country. You can't fix a recession if there isn't stability. That's true. No use worrying about it now. Let's analyze the effects first. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. That will be it for today then. We will convene again soon. Thank you all and keep us updated. We did conclude that the ministers left the room with concerned looks. It was hard to anticipate what would happen next. True. Anything can happen. So, is this still turn one of some? Yeah, this is still turn one. That is crazy. We have a news article. Uh, murder at the palace. Yes, Bernard killed. And now we proceed to the next turn. Okay. A few days later. And now we are in turn two, I guess. Yep. All these reports everywhere. Okay, I think this is a good moment to uh, stop the stream for today because I cannot talk any, any longer. Um, I'm going to continue this on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Um, 